Hello viewers, welcome to Edim TV, a station where you watch, interact and also learn. Your teacher today is Mr. Wanyoike, an agriculture teacher. In today's lesson, we are in Form 4, Lesson 19. And the topic is Livestock Production 6 and the subtopic is uh, Milk uh, Composition. On to the lesson objective. Uh, by the end of this lesson, you should be able to, number one, state the different uh, nutrients uh, found, di different types of nutrients found in the milk, and uh, number two, explain the factors affecting the milk uh, composition. Uh, milk composition, as you know, milk uh, contain uh, different components uh, which ranges from water, uh, there is protein, there is fat, uh, there is lactose and also there is ash and those are the components that are found in the milk. When I say ash, I refer to the mineral salts. Uh, for example, the potassium uh, there, uh, it is found in the milk. Uh, then we have uh, the, 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 the pie chart. You can see that uh, water represents the largest portion uh, of, uh, of the, the component of the milk, and which is followed uh, by protein uh, in that order, uh, then followed by fat, uh, then uh, followed by lactose, and finally uh, followed by ash or the minerals. Uh, so uh, if we go to, now we can look at the factors uh, affecting milk composition and the first one is age when i talk of age a young uh, a young animal uh, which has recently uh, parturated uh, it means uh, the, the component the composition of uh, the milk uh, components is uh, is normally in high percentage for example the butterfat content for a young uh, lactating cow is higher compared to the old uh, lactating cow uh, the age is a factor therefore which influences the uh, the milk uh, composition when you look to the condition of the animal uh, for instance if we have a sick animal, pregnant animal, and emaciated animal, uh, they will have a reduced uh, level of uh, butterfat content compared to a uh, healthy uh, 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 animal. Then we have the number three, it is the stage of lactation and, and pregnancy. At the middle uh, phase of pregnancy and uh, the lactation uh, uh, period, uh, there is high content of butterfat compared to the uh, to the initial and the last stages of lactation and pregnancy respectively. And if you come to factor number four, that is a completeness in milking, uh, through the, the, the research which has already been done, the last drops, the last drops of milk uh, contain about 10% of butterfat content. And therefore, uh, you are supposed to uh, to to, com uh, to uh, exercise complete uh, milking so that you can have the 10% of butterfat content in your milk. Then we have number five, morning and evening. Uh, when uh, when you, you do the milking at the morning time, it means that the milk uh, co content in the morning is normally lower compared to the, uh, to the butterfat content uh, when you are doing the milking at evening. And therefore, the milk uh, which is supposed to be produced at the evening uh, is relatively higher compared to that uh, butterfat content which is supposed to be found in the milk. Then another one is season of the year, especially uh, during uh, uh, cold season. Uh, during cold season, the, the ingredients of the milk uh, also changes a bit depending with the, the weather. Then we have uh, number six as type of food eaten by the animal. And if the animal you feed them ex uh, exclusively on lafages uh, such as uh, the grain, uh, it means that uh, the level of butterfat content also uh, increases. And finally, we can look on breed differences. You can see in this tab, uh, I have tabulated uh, the, uh, the different types of uh, breed. We have Asha, then we have the Brown Swiss, we have the Jersey, we have the Frisian, or another name is Host. Hosting. Then we have just uh, Jesse, and finally we uh, we have uh, the milking short horn. And you can see uh, the total fat content for uh, Asha is 3.88 uh, uh, kg. 
uh, per day. Then we have 3.98, uh, uh, I mean percentage, not kg. The percentage of uh, the, 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 the butter fat content is 3.88. And, uh, and if you compare for Swiss, uh, 3.99 for Jesse, that is 4.46. Uh, actually, uh, is having, uh, it is the second, uh, it produces the second largest content of the uh, fat content. Then we have uh, Frisian is 3.64. Then we have Jesse 4.64. Actually, Jesse is the one with the highest uh, uh, butter fat content. And uh, the same case applies to the protein. You can see in this table, uh, different uh, breeds uh, contain different types of protein uh, containing the milk and also uh, contain different types of minerals which are found in the milk. And we can say that the breed differences is a factor that will determine the milk uh, composition in a given uh, amount of milk. Uh, we have come to the end of today's lesson and I'm going to mark the end of this lesson by giving you an assignment and the first question reads number one uh, state any three types of milk uh, composition. You're supposed to state the ingredients, the components which are found in the milk as we have or as already discussed. Uh, then number two, uh, explain any five factors that affect a milk a composition. Remember, I have explained about seven of them and you are in this, uh, uh, in this question, you are just required to uh, explain any five of the factor as well illustrated and discussed in this lesson. Then uh, you for reference, you can refer from Secondary Agriculture Student uh, Book 4 and the publisher is the Kenya Literature Bureau. For more information, if you'd like to clarify something from us, you can reach us at LMTV using the following addresses. The first one, you can use SMS uh, using the number which is well uh, displayed for you here then we have YouTube you can use YouTube at LM TV uh, Facebook a uh, platform at LM TV and finally uh, you can use Twitter at uh, LM TV underscore K E thank you for joining uh, me in this lesson until uh, next lesson bye bye